Yo, what is up everyone? Welcome into More Dots Gaming. My name is Riven. If you're brand new to the channel, welcome in. If you're a return subscriber, yo, welcome back. I appreciate you all checking out this video. So tonight, I wanna bring you top 10 2020 content creation tips that I feel are very important. And if you're a new streamer, will help you guide you in the way to go. If you've been streaming for a little while and probably know all these tips, this video really may not be catered to you, but if you're new to the whole content creation scene, this is definitely something worth checking out. So let's jump right into these, starting with number one. If you are just starting to get into content creation and you are streaming on a daily basis, I highly recommend stop doing that and stream less. Stream less, I always would it exactly what it sounds like. Don't stream five days out of the week. Don't stream six days out of the week. You're not going to grow while you're alive. You will grow offline. You will grow while putting content out in different platforms. I recommend doing YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. Those are the three that I recommend. The three that will probably get you discovered very much. I just can't get into saying stream less enough uh, because if I knew that three years ago, I have been doing things a very different today than, than what I've been doing. So definitely stream less you'll see a major difference when you're putting out your content out offline and having people come to your content later uh probably stream less maybe two two days two three days out of the week uh and then the rest of the time making content creation that's that's what i highly recommend doing if you're brand new to this don't stream and number two do youtube number two is youtube 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 and I can't state that enough that you should be doing YouTube. YouTube uh, is one of the best ways to be discovered uh, by being able to play on keywords, using tags, having search engine optimization, and that discoverability and the YouTube algorithm, uh, especially when there's tons of watch time and likes and subscribes going on with your channel. Uh, YouTube is going to push out your content to other people uh, based on what they are watching and you'll show up in your recommended for you side of YouTube where on Twitch or Mixer or any other sites like that, there is nothing like that. Um, there is some things on the side, you know, recommended things, but it's if you ever actually look at it, it's always high streamers, high numbers, where on the record for you, there might be something that might have like 38 views and it'll be there. You click on it, but like, oh, cool, that's cool. Or you're typing in what you're looking for, you know, Dragon Ball Z, how to beat sell, uh, and hip hop, and that, and a bunch be a bunch of videos that pop up. You pick the one that the thumbnail is gonna resonate with you the most, that looks flashy, and you click on it, and you start watching the video. YouTube is the second largest search engine in the world. Google's the first, and everything that you put on YouTube right away, as soon as you upload it, indexes right to Google. Uh, so there is no waiting a few days for uh, you know spider spider bots to actually crawl through all the data and then get it over to Google. It happens instantaneously. So if you're also searching for the same thing on Google, how to you know Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, how to beat Cell, uh, I guarantee you those videos that you probably watched not too long ago will also be on the front page of Google giving you that discoverability that you didn't have before. So YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Number three, podcast. This one is really not required, not really recommended either. I just think it's another avenue for you to put out content. If you have time and you can do it, is podcast. I think podcast is a great way to connect with your audience on a different level, uh, on a different realm. Uh, it might be people who uh, may not be able to watch video all the time and having that audio outlet where they're in the shower getting ready for a day and they can listen to your podcast about all the scrolls online or you're talking about cars uh, or you're talking about lore about all the scrolls online or you're talking about Dragon Ball Z uh, the whole story about it uh, and going different episodes or you just have a podcast about whatever uh, and people will be able to listen to it no matter where they are in their car on their Alexas on their Google Homes in the bathrooms wherever they are they can listen to that audio and eventually it's like, yeah, you know what? I, you know, I'm in the streaming space and I do like Twitch, I do like Mixer. I'm gonna check this guy out. I think it's another great way to just to pull people into your streams, into your community, and it's definitely worth something checking out. Uh, if you want to do a podcast, check out anchor.fm. It's free to make. 
and you can then pass out the podcast to all different platforms, including Spotify, Google Podcasts, iTunes, Stitcher, and like ten and like seven more. So it's definitely worth checking out. Definitely a different avenue worth doing. Number four. So we talked about streaming less and putting uh, your content onto different platforms like YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. And then we talked about just using YouTube to definitely get you discovered. And then number three, podcast. I have all those three right now. The biggest out of all of them, because it doesn't matter where you are. It doesn't matter if you're making podcasts. It doesn't matter if you're putting YouTube videos up. It doesn't matter if you're live streaming on Twitch or Mixer or wherever you might be. The biggest thing out of all of them is going to tie all this together is valuable content. The valuable content is the most important thing because no matter where you are, people are going to find you. People are going to come hang out with you. People are going to chill with you. But if you're not putting out content that people don't feel they're valuable or not getting anything from it, not going to do much. If you're streaming 24 seven, you know, if you're streaming six days out of the week for four hours and not putting out a YouTube video and yeah, maybe your streams are good. You get rated here and there, but how are people really going to find you? Because once that streams ends, it doesn't go anywhere. There's no discoverability and people can't find that valuable content you put out. People can't, you know, see the, you know, the top 10 reasons why you should play this game because you did it inside your stream and you didn't cut it out and put it up on you as a YouTube video and then put it to Facebook and then cut out a blurb of it and put it to Instagram and cut up another blurb of it and put it to Twitter. So I think that this is valuable content is the biggest of them all and kind of ties one, two and three together and valuable content, no matter where you are, people will find you uh, as long as you're putting out content that can resonate, bring something to the person that is watching it and will be able to help them in some way or some way immediately or some way later uh, or provide comedic relief, whatever it might be, some type of valuable content that can help them or provide entertainment later down the line. Which brings us down into number five, a great segue, entertain. There have been many times where I will go to a stream and there is someone who is seriously streaming like this and not talking, not doing anything, just playing a video game. I can tell you right now, don't do that. It's not going to get you anything. People don't want to just watch someone play a video game. Unless you were actually good at that game, like extremely good at that game, a ninja level or something like that, no one's going to sit there and watch you slouch and play a video game. They're going to want you to want to entertain. People are going to want to watch, you know, if you're not good at the game, they want entertainment. Provide entertainment. Talk. Talk about your day. Talk about, you know, whatever you have planned. Something that's funny to happen. Tell a stupid joke. Provide entertainment to the viewers. Because if you were to turn on a TV and the show that you're watching is absolutely horrendous, you're going to turn it off. And you're not going to want to listen to it. You're not going to want to watch it. So don't expect people to come into your chat and chat with you if you're not providing value and entertainment. Number six, you don't have to be good at games. This kind of ties with number five. You don't have to be good at games. You don't have to be that ninja or shred level. If you do want to be that level, you know, go practice your Fortnite, go practice your Call of Duty, get good, join teams, learn, and become a pro player. If you don't, if you're not good at games, you're not looking to get to that level, enter Entertain. I go back to point five. Entertain, talk, talk about your day, connect to people, and just provide something different that you know that makes you stand out. Where you can hang out, chat, play the game, and not expect it to be extremely good at it. Number seven. Provide tip videos and how tos. I believe that these are great, uh, and providing a tip video on a how to video um, is a great way to help people in what they're trying to do playing a game and you're stuck on something you provide a tip video like uh, remnant from the ashes and there's ways to beat to help beat a certain boss just by changing one mod that a person never thought to use and changing to uh, you know uh, the SMG with the fire mod or switching over to Spitfire uh, and just help you know burn down the enemy using fire makes that one change and the person goes oh let me let me try that out and it works that's a great tip and a great way to get past, you know, great way to help somebody. Uh, how to is also great. Uh, you know, how to uh, make a video on Streamlabs uh, scripting with a Streamlabs chatbot. Uh, it's uh, something like that. Or how to change a light bulb or how to install a CPU in a motherboard. Uh, certain things like that. Uh, you know, providing how to's and valuable content that people can come watch, get value from it 
and come back later and thank you. Get the eyes on your channel and eventually you keep putting that out, it'll get your eyes on the stream and people chatting in your stream. Number eight, build guides. If you're in the streaming community and the gaming community and you are playing games like Elder Scrolls Online or uh, Remnant from the Ashes, Code Vein, things like that, that have builds. I'm just naming a few of them that have ways you can actually build your character out. Build Guys is a great way. So say you've been working on a build for six months and it comes out really good. Not only is YouTube a great place to put it, you should definitely make a video on it. Then show them all the details of going from getting the gear to specking out the, the, the traits that you're using to the infusions that you're using to the weapons that you're using to pretty much everything from A to Z and how it works, why it works, and why you think it's a great build and then show in action. People who don't want to build builds uh, or don't want don't have the time to sit there and research all the different things Want a quick way to just say I have this gear What's the best way of using this gear or I want to build I want to play like a death knight or I want to play like a tank that can solo anything How do I do that? The first thing they're gonna go to is YouTube or Google and they're gonna search that uh, And if you have a YouTube video on it and you're bidding on the right keywords, they will push you to the top uh, and you'll be and people will find that video and they will be able to find your will find your video watch it Comment on it and eventually come find your stream and hang out with you and tell you hey, you know I found your YouTube video. Uh, I went on this build guy and it really helped me out uh, but I made this little tweak to do this I, and now you got a whole little now you can talk about it and see how it works and you can maybe change it around and see it and talk about it and now you're building community so i think build guides is another great way definitely helping community and providing valuable content to your uh, audience number nine video logs i think vlogs is another way to connect to people i think vlogs is a great way uh, to kind of get out of the whole gaming streaming area and provide valuable content in a different way uh, providing you know I'm doing keto, I'm gonna do this for six months and show them the meal prep, how to cook it, and then, you know, what it looks like afterwards. Uh, and top of that, you know, it's like, oh, I'm also doing a, a workout challenge for 90 days. You know, here's my journey, this is, my, this is my morning routine when I work out, this is some of the workout that I do, and this is what I look like 60 days in, and this is the food plan I'm, I'm following. I think providing things like that allow people to see you on a different level, allow people to connect with you on a different level, and build a community. Uh, people will feel more connected to you and definitely more on a personal level because you're providing and opening yourself up uh, Which is which is something that I feel like content creators don't, don't do a lot when you're streaming I feel like this is definitely an area that's very you need more courage to get into vlogging because you're kind of opening up more to your world to your viewers to your world than you normally would but i think this is a great way to slowly get into and start doing definitely something i'm going to start trying to connect with people on a different level and that brings me to my last tip number 10 connect personally with your audience and i use number nine to segue into this because i think vlogs is a great way to actually start talking to people in a different way providing life hacks or providing tips to eating correctly, showing different workouts you can do, uh, how to replace light bulbs on a car, how to fix a you know sink, or just have vlogs and Q and A's, you know, providing different questions, uh, uh, live Q and A's, things like that. Connect people on a personal level so when they join your Discord, uh, they don't feel like they're just joining a blind Discord because you like action RPGs and so do you. Finding different ways to connect emotionally with viewers is what all humans need and having that empathy between the two is a great way to start building that community and having that human connection because out of all of it if you don't have it you don't have a community uh having people that are just there and not really supporting uh or hanging out and you're not supporting them but having that connection to other people is going to be make everything a million times better uh and exactly what you were looking for i think connecting with people is the biggest thing uh, out of all of it is connecting with those people on a personal level but hey guys those are my top 10 tips if you stuck around i really appreciate it it means a lot that you hung out and watched this video so give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it lets me know that i'll be able to make more content like this and make sure you hit that sub button notification button to know when i post a new video every monday thursday and saturday and i live stream around youtube on tuesday and wednesdays uh so i hope you enjoyed i hope you all check you out next time and i will talk to you all later Peace out, everyone.